Hey everyone, it's Mia here and welcome to my channel. I know guys, I have been MIA for quite some time now. I think the last video I uploaded was like a year ago and so much has been going on um, within that year or the past year that I've, since I've last uploaded my video. Um, and I just wanna take the opportunity to come in and to share that with you guys. I miss YouTube so much. I still be on YouTube. Um, as far as this channel that I'm uploading this video to, I actually um, do not be on this channel like that whatsoever. There are some playlists on here that I might go back and listen to. Um, I don't have to actually log into this channel to do that. Um, I actually created another channel, which is, um, I will have a link to that channel in the description bar below. I am definitely, definitely, definitely trying to grow my subscribers on that channel. Um, many of you have know who followed me throughout my YouTube journey knew that um, when I first came on, I was Mrs. Michael 08. Then my name changed to Jamia Michael, and then now it is at Jamia Wright. Um, you guys know that I recently went through a divorce. Uh, well, not recently, it was like 2014, I got divorced. And also in 2014, I got remarried. And no, I was not cheating on my ex-husband. Um, it was the type of thing where my husband and I, my husband who I'm married to now, um, we both are um, Christians and we believed in courting and not dating. Um, I know some people may look at that kind of like maybe foolishly or whatsoever. It just all depends on um, where you stand at and how you understand the difference between the two and where you're at spiritually with your walk with Christ. And um, it, it just happened just like that. Um, I think I shared a little bit on our um, on my video, on my tag video, which I think I did it under this channel. Yeah, I t uh, me and my husband did a um, husband and wife tag, sharing a little bit about us and um, answering some questions. And so definitely go check that out. I'll put the link to that video in the description bar below. But enough about that. So yes, I've gotten remarried and... Um, I've lost a lot of weight, guys. I wasn't actually trying to lose weight. I really wasn't. Um, I'm not sure what exactly is causing me to lose weight. I still pretty much eat the same. I did. Ha I I was going through a lot of I would say emotional. Um, I was going through a lot of like how do you say that? Um. I had emotional battles going on back and forth. Excuse me for the noise in the background, guys. It's the kids. <laughs> but, um, and just different things like that. So, um, I can do that for another video. I don't mind sharing a little bit about that and what I've been going through spiritually, emotionally, and things like that. So, um, back to the weight loss. I, like I said, I pretty much eat the same. I eat more healthier than I used to eat when I was, um, when I first started the channel, you'll see like I was really bigger and then gradually throughout my videos as I upload, you see a difference in me. And this time you really can see a difference guys. Like, um, I've never can see my collarbones ever before <laughs> and now I can see them a whole lot and it's, it's different guys am i accepting to it yes i'm accepting to it however it took me a while to get to this place of acceptance because i felt like i was more prettier i honestly did felt i was more prettier when i was bigger when i was heavier my face feels like it's so sunk in now and i don't know <laughs> i go back and look at some of those videos i uploaded before and i'm like oh i love my chubby face <laughs> so anyways um so enough about that. What else? Um, I'm back home in Charleston, South Carolina. I actually live in a town outside of Charleston called Somerville. Um, I live there here, and because um, you know, I think when I, yeah, when I first started out my channel, I was in Atlanta, Georgia. I had no intentions on coming back home. It was a thought because I started my business, my homemade, um, homemade, my handmade bath and body and soy candles business. I started it in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I was trying to grow my business there and I knew there was quite a few opportunities or better opportunities for me that I, I was aware of back at home in Charleston, but I actually wasn't trying to move back here. 
I actually just came back here on a whim because my sister and I in Atlanta, we didn't want to renew our lease with the the um, leasing company that we were going through, apartment people that we were living with, are living at, and um, they were going up on our rent again. And to me, to us, it just wasn't worth the price that they were wanting to go up to. So we tried finding different places. We went different places applying um, or putting in applications. It wasn't really being successful. There were a few that we actually could have, like, yeah, let's just go ahead and go with it. But it wasn't really where we wanted to be and um, some other factors and things like that. And so we was like, well, let's just go back home for like a month until we can get things situated. Because my sister had like another opportunity that she could have presented to help us as well. And, um, and within that time period, I did go, we did go back home. When I was back at home for like a month or so. No, I think it was even a month. It was almost a month, like maybe two weeks and a half or something. I ended up getting a job offer back in Atlanta. Well, it's in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And so I was like, I jumped on it. I jumped on it and I was like, yeah, I'm getting getting be back home. I mean, go back to Georgia. And I was like, sister, I'll pave the way. <laughs> I was like, I'll find us a place, blah, blah, blah. So, and I did. I found us a place and um, they tried to rip me off with my money. And um, long story short, that didn't work out. And I'm having to leave that job in Georgia because I didn't have a place for me and my kids to stay. Came back to Charleston, met my now husband in the process of us living here and got married again. And so now I'm back here permanently and so God says otherwise <laughs> I do miss Georgia I know when I first got there I kind of hated it but anyways so that is yeah I think that's all I'm going to do for the updates right now um I have now four kids biologically I have two and my husband brought over two from his previous marriage he was previously married previously married as well and he has full custody of his boys and so now we're together so they're my boys so it's four of us I mean four kids now um so my daughter and then my son and now his two boys and um so we only have one girl and three boys and another question is going to come up well do you guys plan on having kids I honestly like I'm on the fence about it like yes I I wouldn't mind having another child um, one with my husband, he actually do wants another, a, a daughter and selfishly it's like, I don't, it's like, yes, I do. And then no, I don't. Why? I don't because with both of my kids I have biologically, I have cesareans and, um, the cesarean is okay. Um, it's just my body acts differently or comes off of anesthesia differently than what another person made and it seemed like the first time when I had my daughter it was like oh okay and then the second time when I had my son it got worse and so I can only imagine in the back of my mind I'm thinking okay maybe when I go to have another child it's going to be even worse and it is crazy like my body would shake and tremble for hours non-stop and I can't stop it my teeth were clicked together like I'm really like I'm maybe below zero degrees freezing from the inside out and my body would just shake uh, i mean the bed would shake my teeth would be clacking together you can literally hear it clacking and they're just like oh her just her that's just her her body's reacting coming off the anesthesia and so that was kind of scary and another scary part about it is when i had both my kids i did not see them till i think it was like either late it was either late really really late that evening or not until the next day because after I, my body stopped shaking, I would wake up and I would feel really drowsy. Like they were like waking me up, they're like, hey, you wanna see the baby? We need you to feed the baby. And I'm looking at and the room is spinning all around and I'm just like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. And it's like, we need you to. So you know, I tried to breastfeed my daughter and that didn't work out. So they ended up just giving her bottles. And then my son, I don't think I tried with him at all. I just, They just couldn't get me up. Because like I said, it got it was worse the second time. 
and they couldn't get me up long enough to sit up long enough to try to get him to latch on and just I was like no I can't do this I need to lay down I felt nauseous I was like I'm seeing 10 of you guys <laughs> like no so that's the part of me that doesn't really want to have kids because I don't really want to go back through that experience um, but you know, whatever God says, you know, I have to trust him and believe in him and know that he will see me through. So whatever he decides, if he decides, Hey, I want you to have a, I want you guys to have a baby. He will plant that seed and we'll go forth. So yeah, that is it for that part of the video. I also wanted to come in guys, because many of you may know, like I mentioned earlier about my bath and body, um, and candle business. I am so guys, I'm so promoting my business i'm still in my business i have not opened up a boutique yet and that's kind of my dream i want i don't want to be nationwide if god says so then you know amen let it be but me myself i don't really want to be nationwide i just want to be like a little small business you know there's nothing wrong with that like right um i just want to open up a little small boutique shop that features my soaps and candles and all my products and things like that and um and i'll be just and i'll be happy you know <laughs> that's it so really quick i don't want to keep this video too too long guys um i haven't i'm doing this on my iphone right now i want to get a camera to kind of set up um videos in my i'm in my craft room right now you probably see like some stuff i have behind me or whatever um set up something in here so I can record in this room and also do some DIYs with my bath and um, products. But I also have a um, YouTube channel dedicated for my bath and business, um, bath and body business. I will link that in the description bar below. All my social media contact information will be in the description box below. So check it out. Follow me, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, let me introduce you guys into a few of my new products and then I will end this video so it won't be too long. I'm going to turn the camera around. Oh, I can't do that while I'm on the video. Sorry. So I'll just have to show you like this. All right, guys. So I just came up with this new coffee and brown sugar face and body scrub. And I hope it comes up clear for you guys. That's it. When I tell you guys this product smells amazing, OMG. If you're a coffee lover, you would absolutely love this product. And this is how it looks in the jar. It's pretty stiff, but if I hold like this, it will eventually fall out. It looks almost like cookies and cream, guys, but it's not. What is in this product is brown, raw Demerol sugar. It's like, it's brown sugar, but I, I use raw Demerol sugar um, crystals. And I also use fresh coffee ground. And those two in itself are really gentle and really nice um, exfoliants. That's why you can use it a little on your face. What's also in this product is um, sweet almond oil as a moisturizer and olive oil. And also in here is what gives it the creaminess is the foaming bath whip. What is that? It's basically another moisturizer, but it's also mainly a cleanser. So this exfoliating scrub, will, you will exfoliate, you'll cleanse, and you'll moisturize. So it's a, a triple action scrub. I'm about to get out of here, guys. I might have to do a part two to this because it sounds like these kids are tearing up my living room and that I can't have. So stay tuned for part two of this video talking about the rest of Bath and, bath and um, Candles by Mia. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I do subscribe back. All right, guys. That is for this video. So as always, be inspired and be blessed. Bye.